way into her or something, though. I think he was with someone else and wound up cheating with Joe Lee. I don't know if it was on really? Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but I think he, he kind of stumbled into it. I think maybe maybe he was with Aniston and then cheated his way into Joe Ooh. Lee, which is a crazy... Yes, I think so, too. I think there's some rap lyrics about this. <laughs> probably. I think had probably one. Really? I know it, dude. It's in there somewhere. I know it. Access it. Bust it out. You think when Aniston was... Uh, remember on Friends when, when the... They were nipply on Friends, yeah. Aniston and them. You think they were faking it? Faking the nipple? Oh. Like before you get to go to the doctors? Like fluff your dick? Yeah, you or not even, the nips? not even fluffing. I, I think that they had an apparatus on, on, their, on their body that was falsely uh, creating nipple. Were they nippling through bra too? That's what I think was. That's, oh, that's, that's what I mean. It cannot oh, they be. They might have just taken the pad out of the bra. So if you take Ma- the pad maybe, out of the thing. Maybe. Dude, that's pretty cool. So it keeps them up. But you can still see the uh, nipples. Get some nipples going. Mm. That's, they, I mean, they might have had a nose. Some of them like, yo, that mm, people responded right. pretty well to your guys's. That's nipples. what I mean. And they, for years, just like nippled <laughs> at nipples all times. Are testing very well. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matthew Perry might have been actually backstage, just fucking tweaking. <laughs> tweaking <laughs> pill. He was all fucked up on pills. Was Perry? Yeah, Perry That's was sad. all fucked up on pills. Did Rainey's book come out yet? Not yet. No, oh, I think no, it did. It did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, Rainey put out a book of. Is it just all his Facebook? It's 400 it's Facebook genius. posts. It's so it's such a Our good buddy Rainey. Oh, Mike I've Rainey. seen his On Perks. On Perks. <laughs> I think he put a book together of a compilation of all his On Perks dude. Facebook statuses. <laughs> dude. It's, it's going to be so good. He dude. was talking about... I was watching... <laughs> just get on Perks and get on Facebook and be like, I'm able to do it to family at Disney World. This is the fucking most fun <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> it's the craziest there shit. Was an then the next one would be like, I just got pussy from my slut wife in front of Goofy, that fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> There was an error where he kept putting up. If anyone needs help, let me know. I have I have access to a truck. He's like he was telling on dad me. He's like I actually didn't have access to a truck at the time. I was, yeah. I was lying about having access to a truck, <laughs> saying I could help. Dude, people. he would, he loved it. He'd be like, I love my life so much right now. Please let me give you my blessings. I'll help you. <laughs> Did he actually he love would it? Would never do anyone a favor. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, threatening a favor is as good as doing a favor. Dude, for real, getting you get on the that internet guy. and being like, guys, just so you know, I'm here to help anybody. Dude, it, was just, so, it was so funny. He's just in his room. <laughs> it's like when someone dies, when you're like, if you need anything, let me know. Like, do not hesitate if you yeah. need anything. It's like, dude, they don't fucking dude. need anything from you. They need casserole. They're fucking, yeah, what? Their dad died. Send him some green bean casserole. Yeah, what? He truly does have some of the funniest stories ever. And they're just, he doesn't think anything of them. Is it a coffee table book? What kind of book? I think it's, I think it's just a, it's a coffee table book. Yeah, you lay it out. That's he had a book sweet. before called Terrible Advice that was really, really funny. Yeah. I think he might have been on Perks when he wrote that one. Possib- very possibly. <laughs> He's an artist. Dude, dude he, he, we were, I forget, he was telling me the one time about when he was at the uh, New Jersey Devils game. He was like, yeah, the one time, I, and he'd always be like, the one time I did too much coke and had a panic attack at the laser light show, the New Jersey Devils game, my mom had to pick me up. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you've been doing puns for the last hour and a half. Yeah, all of a sudden, you break out the funniest story possible. <laughs> He's got, I got good tickets, and I was like, my friends are up higher. I keep looking at them like losers. <laughs> and I had a panic attack. At the she had to come to North Jersey? <laughs> she, had lasers, like, <laughs> she had to drive up to North Jersey and get them. <laughs> Dude, lasers on cocaine inducing it just at the Jersey at the Jersey Devils. <laughs> She's like, what the f- yes, mom, you gotta come get me. And Devils hockey, which is the dumbest, <laughs> the most boring shit of all time, dude. Just stingy defense, <laughs> Chelios. She's the fucking dude, screaming. Fucking shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for uh for to see that, dude. It's 400 of them. Damn. I hope he includes arguments with people. I hope Cause so. Because he was battling, dude. He would get in a battle. I know. I, know. I remember the rain train back then. He would battle, dude. You'd hit Facebook? some racism. He would hit some wild <laughs> shit, dude. He was burnt out. Just be like, they better clean up their ex. <laughs> dude, it was so <laughs> People run their mouth on perks, dude. They yeah, love yeah. You should do a like perks it. case, right? You yeah. get angry too, apparently. <laughs> yeah. perks. You get angry when you're on perks. Really? Yeah, when you're on perks, you get angry. You get really Damn. mad. Yeah. You get really mad. That's a side effect. If you're taking a lot of perks, you get like pissed. While off. you're in it, or as like just a like come down? yeah, I think that's the whole thing. While you're on, if you're on perks, a lot, dude, you start that getting is angry. that sucks. That's the worst drug possible. Yeah. Like weed, I get scared. Yeah. Totally. And that's not a great experience, but I get it. I like horror yeah. movies. 
Yeah. There's a thrill. Bud Light is basically, I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy every day. <laughs> yeah, it's every horrible. Every day. I'm like, it's Guardians again. <laughs> Weed is a scary movie, dude. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit frightening. Yeah, uh, Perks just sound like an intense-ass drama. It's like marriage story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drama is it's drama, like soap opera where you're just like, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> People are just brawling out. I'm but. getting on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you're count. You're counting the fucking. You got three left, dude. Your boy's not hitting you mm. up. You're like, fuck. Mm. I need to get on Facebook. You're constantly getting ripped off for like thirty bucks by all your friends. Like, yo, dude, I'll definitely get you that thirty bucks. I just need like ten. I get paid five. on Friday. I need ten of these five twelves, <laughs> dude. Damn, I can't thieves. sleep. Yeah, it's yeah. Tough. Pill culture, bros ripping, he, bros ripping, bros off. How does he know? Just to feel sleepy. <laughs> no, <laughs> Just to feel good. Just to go to sleep standing up. Yeah. <laughs> Just to bend over. But how does he know he was on Perks for all those times? Like, uh, I think he was. I think he was. It was just on Perks every he was day. Pretty on Perks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got description. And he you the saw through the other side. That's legendary. And you can see the, the timestamps on those <laughs> oh, Facebooks. <yeah. laughs> yeah. Please, none of you get me. Did no one? No one tried to. No one got me. Thank grapple. Christ. God. Yeah. Do you ever have someone put their hands around your neck? Yeah, all my uncles. And they know That's what they're doing. Do. That's, That's hell. Do. That Dude, is these hell. guys, and then they would get serious. They would start grappling and start like rolling. Now that I hang out, now I'm a yeah, UFC yeah. guy. Once they would start rolling, uh, <laughs> and then the dudes would be like, "All right, let them go," and they would roll and wrestle as hard as they could until finally they'd have to pull them off. Was this inside the bar? This was outside for the an hour, at least one hour after the bar. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> of nonsense. And then In it the came, street? And then it came time to get an Uber back to Nate's Airbnb. Chaos. <laughs> no one called an Uber. <laughs> Everyone sat there for an hour going, where's the fucking Uber? <laughs> and then two different guys would start wrestling. <laughs> it was fucking, dude, it was heaven. <laughs> It was heaven, bro. That does rule. It was it was everything I wanted. Dude. And then we got back to the house. The house was everything you thought it would be. It was everything. It was just it was, a, it was an Airbnb on the beach, but it was it wasn't like nights. It was like beer cans everywhere. And it was just ten dudes. There were like two girls, ten dudes, just just guys vibing. That's mm. guy heaven, dude. It bongs, was guy heaven. Do they have bongs and nunchucks? Dude, yes. Laptop <laughs> laptop plugged into the TV blasting rap on YouTube. <laughs> it was it was heaven. God, man. And that's the funny thing is, you know, he's he wasn't like a dickhead. Like, cause mm. I was see, they didn't know who the fuck I was. And the guy I was with was thankfully he was hyping me up a little. So that helped. But they didn't dude, right when I met him, hug, what's up, dude? Let's drink. I mean yeah, you, you don't think bro. he had Scott any had idea that you who you were? No, hmm. Nate Diaz has no idea who I am. Yeah, but you you're co-signed by Rogan. I don't know. That helped when they, when they found out why I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also but man, it's sick, dude. To see people hold it down like that pumps see me up. See a squad mm -hmm. hold it down like that, and every dude was cool. Yeah, and they were all like. We're just here for having fun. When everyone's wrestling like that, there's no room for cattiness either. No, everyone's no. wrestling. Everything's it's like, settled immediately. It, 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 like, boom, <laughs> immediately, dude. And yeah. then they'd start wrestling, and Nate would be like, yeah, get that motherfucker. Boom, boom. And he would like, start like, lightly punching whoever was on the ground. <laughs> Any sound effects? Yeah, every time. <laughs> so how does it, he how does does it end? Effects. Oh, how does the King. wrestle end? Does someone tap? The last wrestle I remember was a guy that was <laughs> refusing to tap. Who was getting choked out. And they were like, all right, that's enough. So someone does eventually. They all were in. like, all right. And eventually it was like, yeah, that's enough. That's and they enough. know the breaking point? I mean, the guy, there's, they're all, I would assume, they would all refuse to tap. That's how yeah, the squad was. Wow. You cannot tap, true. dude. Wow. I mean, dude, coming back. Which is... If one of them came near me, I'd be like, dude, stop, stop, yeah, stop, stop. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Pull out my wallet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please, dude. <laughs> Going back to the five on one, I'm telling you, I think it, it's, it is possible. I'm not underestimating a professional fighter. I'm saying us four on the street, Nate Diaz is walking towards us. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the We're problem. It's the fucking... real life. It's a real, because it is like, stop, 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 dude, dude, dude. dude. Yeah. One Remember of us video? gets just out what? cold and other things. Stop, 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 stop. What was the guy? Uh, but if we premeditated an attack, that's a different premeditated, thing. Premeditated, I hear you. We got, oh, this was so funny. When when we got done, me, Norman, and Ari got done with Rogan. We we went out that mm -hmm. night. We are eating. And I forget who asked him, like, who would win in a fight? All three of us versus you. And he, without even hesitating, he was like, me. 
He would fucking all die. three. Me, Arya, Norman versus Rogies. Rogan would fucking slaughter us. All dude. three of you guys, though. Yes. What if you poked his Have eyeballs? You seen him throw a kick? He's nasty. Yes, that's dude. Vicious. That kills one of us. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who forgot about kicks? I forgot about yeah, kicks. The kicks, dude. A the kicks are coming kicks, out of nowhere. Yeah, that, that fucks up my <laughs> whole like, battle wait, plan. Wait, my shin is broken. The second yeah, one of us would try fuck. to grab a leg. You're catching like a flying knee. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot about the kicks. I'm yeah. thinking of just a guy like. And you're like, he punches two of you, and another guy like grabs his neck and just like punches you him. You can't in the... grab their neck too. They're yeah. they're good at like figuring <sighs> that out. Shit, man! So how many a... guys do you think you would need? That ten? I think to get Rogan, ten? No, we would need three more. Me, Six Ari, guys. and Normans. Six guys. Double us, we can take him. Ari's useless. Could you guys simulate? Ari's this totally useless. <laughs> Dude, you never know. He could be the last. Ari he would be, be the useless. final guy. Norman, I would imagine, would be totally useless. <laughs> yeah. After today's experience, I'm useless. Nah, dude, you're That's gonna be three useless bros. He's gonna start worrying about you if you keep these Bro. sessions up. Bro's gonna be like, well, hold up, wait a second. If I, if you he's gonna be went sleeping in, like this, dude. I, the only down. move I have is to slowly walk towards someone. True. That's gonna result <laughs> in the Myers? hardest fucking <laughs> roundhouse to the body. <laughs> I love I love the idea of like <laughs> this melee against Joe Rogan happening and Shane sees a box and he's like, hang on guys, watch this steps up on it oh. and then Rogan kicks it out from under him. <laughs> Dude, my box steps are out of this world. What if you jumped what if one of you jumped off of something? You think that improved the chances? No. If like one of you jumped off of a trash can <laughs> <laughs> You have to watch the kicks. Okay, two and then guys. watch me and Ari and Norman do anything. I know his kicks are vicious. He dude. would I, slaughter us. Those back, I've, I've that back kick is burnt in my brain on yeah, YouTube. The and sound of it, yeah. and he's done combat sports his know, whole fucking life. I know. Mm -hmm. how, do you need to it's ask how many bath. guys you think realistically? How many guys do you think he could take? Depends who, obviously. True. Me, Ari, and Norman are non-trained fighters. A weak trio. Non-trained fighters. <laughs> Trained fighters. <laughs> I mean, Frank might be able to handle me. Ari, and fucking <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm not a good fighter. I got my my shit kicked. In. What's your what's some fight stories? Oh, oh yeah, you told us a fight story. You, yeah, have I told you that? I've told yeah, you what that. was it? What happened? I got beat up by a lobsterman. Yes, up what? in Maine. Yeah. yeah, he was wearing his Real bean, bad. dude. The lobstermen do not take kind to the yellow beanies. No, that's well. I mean, I bet he was wearing bean too. He was wearing <laughs> uh, Timberland boots. And kick me in the face. What? I'm tall. I'm six three. I mean, <laughs> how big was his lobsterman? Huge. He was beefy. <laughs> And he was flexible. <laughs> what the fuck was his problem with you? How'd you know he's flexible? Because he kicked me in the face. Oh, uh, okay. How do you standing? get your leg? And he was wearing Carhartt pants. Wait, standing. Yeah. Jaw. Through Carhartt pants, kicked you in the fucking face? Yeah. Middle of winter. December 23rd. <laughs> oh, my God. December 23rd, and it was snowing. What was, was your beef with this around. lobsterman? In Maine, so Portland, Maine... I grew up near there in Freeport, home of L.L. Bean. Yep. And I say this because I've heard Shane's a big L.L. Bean fan, which made me I got really one, happy. I got a one bean jacket. I'm pretty pumped. I'm, I'm going to bring you. I'm going to bring you a present next Please. time I go home. Ooh. Please. I'm L.E. I'm all Land's End. No offense. I'm Land's End. That's just poor. Nah, dude. Oh, yeah. Land's End. <laughs> Land's End's poor? No. Land's no. End I used for the to poor. My, my godmother used to give me a, a $15 Land's End gift certificate and every Christmas. And you throw it out. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even know how to. <laughs> tell you what, that. if you were in some end, that lobster man would have been like, "What's up, bro?" Could be. Let me tell you about lobster and. Or he'd be like, "Who's this pre preppy douchebag?" I feel like Land's, Land's end? end is preppier, but it's cheaper than L. What? L. Bean, you get you real woodsmen wear that shit. Nah, dude. Yeah, you're eating. A... When you're on a lobster boat, they'd be like, "It's just some bean. It's just some end." They're like, yeah, "Get on the boat, bro." It's your <laughs> <laughs> He would, he would, he, they think they're like, if you're, if you're an end, they raise the lobsterman, raise their leg up. They're like, they check their kick. Like, yeah. nah, he's cool. He's cool. They, the they, they give you a hand. Kicks. They give you a hand to get what on the, the boat. Fuck? They're That's like, all oh, do watch on those your step. Boats. Practice. On those boats, you're just like, huh. <laughs> So you, you challenged the lobsterman. No, I, he sent you to happened. hell. So we, we, <laughs> he sent you to the depths Did he put his hell. claws on you we, too? Or just the feet? We uh we were it was December twenty third, two nights before Christmas. Out with all my I was sophomore in college, out with all my high school sophomore friends. Sophomore year is not a good year for you, bro. No. That's a fucking... But this was college now. So gotcha. I was twenty. And we went to the bars in Portland. They close at one. 
So it's super mm. early, which makes everyone sprint through yeah. their drinking. Especially which, if you, it pisses Lobsterman off. I've talked to a lot of Lobsterman yeah. about this. Yeah. We're always like, dude, the bars close so fucking early. Yeah. Well, because they wake up so early. Yeah, they yeah, like I it because they wake up early. <laughs> yeah, the bars be closed. <laughs> I'm trying to get my yellow bean wet. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a little wet. So you come out of the bar. It's one o'clock. No, we go to the pizza place oh. uh, to get Bill's Pizza. And it's where everyone that's would where go. That's where the lobsterman is. And we file into a booth. Ah, Bill's Pizza. <laughs> After a long night of drinking. We got a couple bucks from the hall. It won't last <laughs> yeah. long. I'm starting to think you guys don't want to hear this story. I want to hear no, the story. Hear I'm kidding. I'm Who's kidding. giving it texture? I like the sound effects. It's like an NPR thing. Um, oh. This feels like, uh, yeah, what, what is that? Uh, prairie Home Companion. You guys are Prairie Home Companioning. Yeah, the Prairie Home Companion. <laughs> <laughs> I never listen to NPR. Really. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, in Land's End, that surprises me. That's mm. definitely a Land's End stuff. Your mom Frank's gets a little you, snarky bitch, dude. Same you. Oh, you bring it out of me. I gotta fight back. <laughs> True, it is good. I Bristling. appreciate that. My I appreciate hackles that. are up. All right, I appreciate so the lobsterman. You so chat. we're we're in the we're so in the in booth. There. We the order the pizza. Comes in. What toppings? What toppings? Hold on. You got? I don't even know. Lobster. The lobsterman. <laughs> <laughs> lobster pizza. One please. The lobsterman comes into the bar. You're chatting with a girl about no about books you've read, and he goes, "You think you know everything because you read these books at Harvard?" And then you're out at Bill's Pizza, and he slams a fucking thing against the window and goes, "You know that girl? I got a fucking number. How do you like them lobsters?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're at Bill's oh, Pizza. Oh man. <laughs> That went better than I expected it to. <laughs> I won't lie. You're at Bill's Pizza. There, and I, I'm with my friends, and then the a bunch of kids that we used to, our big rivals from lacrosse, <laughs> are at the next booth over. But we were, it was like a, we hate playing against them, but they were fine guys. Yeah. And so I got up and went and said hi to them, and I was catching up with them. But I wasn't like friends with these guys. Mm. And then these two girls came in, and they were fighting each other, hmm. these girls. But it was like not cool fight. It was like angry women, like hair pulling kind of. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. They were they were in the thick of disgusting. it. Disgusting. And one of the guys at the this team this what. I was watching spooky videos. I ended up getting scared. What was the one that tipped the scales? Hinter Kaifek, the farm. Ooh. What is that? <laughs> Uh, I've definitely <laughs> talked about it before. Uh, it was a, it's a very unsolved old murder. <laughs> the Hinterkaifeck murders occurred on the evening of March 31st, 1922, in which six inhabitants of a small Bavarian farmstead uh, were killed by an unknown assailant. The six victims, Andreas Gruber, 63 years old, Kazilia Gruber, 72 years old, their widowed daughter, Victoria Gabriel, 35, hot. Nice. Victoria's children, Kazilia, 7, hot. <laughs> <laughs> and Joseph, too. And the maid, Maria Baumgartner, 44. They were all killed. Huh? Baumgartner, yep. It's an old name. I know some Baumgartners. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. They were all found decapitated. Nice. Matt, let me tell you something about this. Yeah, I want to hear about this. It's just a, a family lived in this farm. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a widow. Her husband died in World War One. Oh, maybe. What? All right. Maybe that's one theory. But on record, he died in yeah, World War One. He's not there. He's a German. She had two children with him, I think, and then a newborn that was allegedly with her father. They were what? accused of incest. So there's a, a, a two year old <clears> baby <throat> that now the girl and her three kids live with their parents. And one and they very just, happy father. And a very <laughs> loving 67 year old father that's. Oh, oh. Little Joe Biden uh, kicking around. Really? No serious charge of authority. Okay. Right. <laughs> no what? So she was living at her parents' farm because yes. her husband was at war. Because her husband died at war. Died at Allegedly. War. They never found his body. Imagine that dad just being like... Jackpot. Why don't you come stay with us? <laughs> <laughs> Strange things began to occur in and around Hinterkaifeck sometime shortly before the attack. Six months before the attack, the family made quit. Mm -hmm. She was like, it's too spooky here. It has been widely claimed that her reason for leaving was that she heard strange sounds in the attic and believed that the house was haunted. Ooh. Every maid, to be fair, thinks the house they're living in is haunted, but go on. And it's good to see that that's not just <laughs> over-religious Hispanic maids. Leading up to it, this the old man noticed some some tracks in the snow leading from the woods 
into their house, into their barn, and not coming back out. He reported it to his friends. He was like, somebody, and there's no tracks leading out. So. What? And then they, the, the previous maid quit because she said the house was haunted. They could hear footsteps in the attic. So many, somebody was up in the attic so much that the guy went and checked. He didn't find anyone. He, but they heard some footsteps. He found a newspaper from Munich. They didn't even live there. What? He was like, and he asked the postman. He was like, did you drop this? And he was like, no one orders that around here. I think somebody's just living on your property. What the hell? There's, a, there's a ghoul on your property that likes the news. Me, the yeah. Munich Times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then one day, uh, somebody or a group of people or a ghoul mm -hmm. lured like the family one by one out into the barn and smashed all their heads with a pick. What? And then went into the house, smashed the two-year-old's head with the pick in his crib, Yikes. and then killed the maid in the house. And then, but you know, this is in the 20s. No one's coming by the f***ing house. Yeah. So one guy walked by the house like a few days later, noticed lights were on and the, the oven was burning. Somebody was, somebody was clearly still living in there. Uh, and that's it. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more, but it was like that's a spooky, uh, abrupt ending. Yeah, very abrupt. I say, and then that's it. What? But um, <clears throat> no, no they found a lot of spooky it? stuff. The, the investigators know somebody fed the animals for like three days, and like it's gotta be that hus. There. It's gotta be that hus, dude. He came back and saw that boy. And said, then after oh, World War hell. II, after World War II, some some German soldiers reported. That one of the Soviet general or one of the Soviet guys in the prison camp, yeah. one of the guards claimed he was that guy and that he did it. What? That it was the father that allegedly died in World War I. He escaped to the Soviet Union. Killed his family. Then came back to kill his family. He's probably like, guys, I fuck you won't believe it. And he was like, what the f? My dad fucked my, my dad, wife? Her, her dad fucked her? I'm going to kill everybody. Oh, her kid. dad. Her dad. Sir. That's even worse, right? Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, not definitely. your dad. <laughs> I mean, if you had to choose, if my dad smashed my girlfriend, I'd be like, "You thought I was dead? That's fair." Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for stoking. You the did flame. the right thing. Thanks for stoking the flames. She needs this Gillis dick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Think about hearing footsteps above you and being like, "That's probably nothing." And then oh. one night, oh. you and your pals get beheaded by your. Well, that's, what, that's why you shouldn't have sex with your daughter or your dad. Yeah. And Sorry. you shouldn't f when your husband's at war because he might come back and live in the woods for about a year Maybe. behind your house. And then one night, finally, he's like, all right, it's time. It's very time. possible, dude. Especially, like, getting the newspaper from other places. Like, they found newspapers from, like, Munich. Oh, yeah. And he was, like, reading the paper, hanging out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A little pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite with an action figure on a stick. You would do out. that? Yeah. Did And then when you saw it in Napoleon Dynamite, were you like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't know. I, I thought I came up with that. No, apparently, it's a problem. I would have thought thing. you came up with that if I watched you do that. Dude, it's pretty <laughs> sick. But yeah, man, it was, uh, the bus was fucking lit, dude. Do you, do you know anyone who got pussy on the bus? Um, What type of pussy are we talking here? Fingering. Fingering on the bus. I'm Suck going tit. blank on Sucking it. tits. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I don't know. See, that's the problem. I don't know if I did. That's how, like, rock and roll my bus days were. I yeah. just know people around me got pussy on the bus. I could have. I don't know. I don't think I yeah. did. I don't actually. No, I'm going to say I don't think I got pussy on I think I. I smooched on the bus after a field trip to the zoo. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, it was big time. That's getting hard. Getting hard now. Yeah, man. Touching a pussy on the bus is like. No, smooch. smooch I'm the same. Please, like, please. I, th I think I touched pussy on the bus. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pussy lie. Ah, so. That sounds like a pussy lie. That sounds like something you would remember. I remember a kiss. I could be, yeah, I could be stealing pussy stories from my cousin. My You're stealing pussy. My cousin definitely it. touched pussy on the bus. I'm not, I'm not going to. Does he get like discounts at Annie Ann's now? You're stealing, <laughs> you're stealing pussy valor. <laughs> I don't know. First time I touched pussy, I was at the uh, farmer's market. An actual dude that fingered pussy is going to approach you with a cell phone. Sure. Like, Did you finger pussy on the bus? Dude? Like, <laughs> yeah. He's going to be like, what was it like? You're like, well, I was 19. No. Oh, Nobody was fingering pussies on the bus that year. <laughs> oh. Well, bus, bus three. No one got pussy on bus three. Dude, that's they. They nail Australians. Australians always steal valor. They, they gotta let them do it, dude. Let the boys do it. They're at the True. mall in full regalia, oh. and you have the audacity to approach an Australian and be like, "You didn't serve." 
Yeah. Let man. the boys have fun. Yeah, dude, for real. I'm tired. Any Stolen Valor compilation is always an Australian. They should be drafted. Draft the autistic. Yeah. The autistic. Automa- they'd be great. Dude, I mean, just for, the, you know, just like some Rudy action. Yeah, when up, you're up, up you like got a- ISIS on the run, send him in, get a sack. Yeah, dude, send him yeah. in. Get- <laughs> Look, we're winning, dude. Why don't you, dude, take a shot. Take a shot, dude. Okay. Press, press this button. I mean, dude, you're talking about drone strikes. That would be That'd be crazy. Get some of those boys on the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the last thing you'd hear would just be like, who, li- oh, yeah, who lives in a barnacle? You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that'd be their fortunate son. <laughs> be a drone playing SpongeBob. <laughs> I, I I suppose you have to die then. No, <laughs> these are the rules. Sorry, you're actually dead now. <laughs> if you I, saw I don't know if I knew how to if react. If you saw a dude would throw up on his mouth. And oh, I start puking. I start driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you blow into a a, a a a mouth with throw up on it? No way. I couldn't either. Nope. That's There's it. No you're fun. dead. Yeah. It, even if it was a family member, I would. I would. I, it, it'd be tough. It'd be really tough, dude. You taste all that bile. Oh. And then you throw up into that mouth, and it's even worse. Then you got to scoop it out. Yeah. Then it then it then just he, becomes a viral video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My mom got knocked out, and I didn't resuscitate her. Jesus. What do you my mean? sister looked at me. My mom fell down the steps. She was shit faced. She's gonna love it. I'm telling this story. This is oh great. Right. I was I was home. By the way, this is his dad's story. <laughs> yeah, 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 she was yeah, shit faced. Yeah. She fell down the steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no. Give me a uh, beer. No, we're white. We don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> yeah, Puerto Rican retard. Uh, Puerto Ricans don't have two stories in their houses. <laughs> Puerto Ricans don't have two parents. <laughs> yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um But yeah, my, my family was out getting fucked up and then when they came home, I was in the basement. And my mom came down to see me, and she had a handful of cookies. Oh and she dropped. She had Oreos. Dude, stop. And she dropped an Oreo and, and tried up. to recover oh that. My God. But she dove. She dove down the steps, Fuck head first. Dude. Fucking Pete Rose slid and just to, fucking. Trying, ate trying, trying, to, trying to save an yeah. Oreo. And she got totally knocked out. And I, my oh. sister's behind her. How old are you? I'm sorry. I'm 30. No, at the time, sorry. At the time, this was probably two years 29. ago. 29. Oh, no, this is actually probably like four or five years ago. Four, this is, yeah, this is recent. Yeah. God and damn, uh, dude, I would throw up laughing if I saw Well, that. I heard my sister. I didn't see her fall. My sister was behind her and was like, Mom's dead. She was like, oh, fuck, Mom. Mom. She was like, Shane, come here. Mom's dead. Oh, <laughs> I was like, God. I came over and my dad was shit faced oh, and he was up in the kitchen and he was like, He's Where he lost his composure right away. He was like, "What's going on down there?" <laughs> oh, he's crying. It was crazy right yeah, away. Trying not to laugh. They were all drunk, and my sister was like, "Call call nine one one, Dad. Mom's dead." <laughs> oh my and god! I get to my mom, and she's knocked out. How did you not tell snoring. me the story? This is how you should open up every she had, morning. She so. had black in her mouth from the Oreos. Her mouth was oh. all fucking gross <laughs> <laughs> and like purple from the wine. Oh my and god! And my sister, my sister was like. We gotta her give lips her- are purple. Her teeth are black. She's <laughs> yeah, decaying. Yeah. But no, she was like, we got to give her mouth to mouth. She was like, give her mouth to mouth. Ew. And even in a moment where I was convinced she was dead, I was like, my mom is dead right now. <laughs> I was still like, you fucking. <laughs> like in that moment, my sister was like, you got to give her mouth to mouth. And I looked at her. I was like, fucking, I don't. You do. You, know, you give her mouth to mouth. Also, check. is mouth to mouth appropriate anytime somebody dies? I, I think that's the first thing you, you think to do. Do you, you give mouth to mouth that they break their neck? I think that's actually worse. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably. Their head went <laughs> snap. Well, all I said, fucking broken trachea. I said, uh, <laughs> we got to get her fucking tongue out because she was laying on her back and she was knocked out. <laughs> I like, just make sure out. she's not. I eating would just that. put my dick in front of her face. You would. You yeah. Would put your dick in front your of your mom. Yeah, knocked yeah. out mom. No, your mom. <laughs> no, your mom. I had to get her tongue out. <laughs> no, your mom, dude. <laughs> Damn, you are coming in hot today. Yeah, I'll, I'll crush my guests. I don't care. <laughs> no one's safe here. Shane, I got. So did she wake up? She, did she the woke ambulance? up. The, the ambulance did show up. So now we've got a fucking EMT in our fucking basement. And my mom woke up and was mortified. She was like so embarrassed, but she broke her, her fucking. Katie, my sister, I stayed the fuck away. I was like, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Oreo lick of the fingers. Oh, she got the Oreos. (laughs) Uh, My mom's hand was like, finger was totally fucked up. 
And she didn't notice it because obviously she was knocked out. And then she sits up and is like, I think my hand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, the John, yeah. for him. A John yeah. always pinky. <laughs> <laughs> she would cry if she knew I was telling this story. But yeah. Good for yeah. her. She had a good yeah, run. she made it. Do you have any naked pictures of your mom? <laughs> I saw her naked recently. Was it, is she doing all right? It was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. You know what I learned, which was really disheartening, was, uh, well, first off, I found out this week my dad still comes. Yeah. You told me that. Dude, I didn't know dad picture. could Can come get... still. He still jizzes. I guess. According to everybody, yeah, dad. Yeah, your dad. Of course he should still come. Yeah, I know. Now I, can I tell you what like, my problem is? Fucking... My perspective on parents are they're young. Like, my dad was murdered when he was 26. My dad, my mom died when she was like 43 or 44. So oh, like, I just shit. imagine all parents as being 40. Like, yeah, when yeah, bad, yeah. Like, when I yeah, think yeah. about my mom, I'm thinking they're of a eternally 40, 40 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they're going to look like when you get to Puerto Rican hell, hell, Puerto Rican heaven. heaven. What is Puerto Rican hell? I think it's our hell. It's their heaven. It's our hell. Mainland. Electricity. Uh, my friend just saw my mom naked like three years ago. Uh, really? He cuts our lawn uh, on the gay one those, dust. Like, one, one, of those, one of those ride mowers, and she was just cleaning, like dusting, ass nude. And she's like sixty. She did that on purpose. Sixty-eight. Don't you, don't you nobody? I, so hey, to answer, how did you see your mom naked? Um, I was leaving the house. Someone was calling the house while I was. My mom thought I left. Someone the the house phone was ringing. Did she fell so on this the is probably steps. about five years ago. This is like the same week she fell on the steps. <laughs> she's, this she's is a good week for me and my one. mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it, somebody called for her, so I was like, "Mom, the phone's for you." Mom, a landline? She still yeah. has a landline. And I was fucking pissed that she wasn't answering. So I like walked up the steps, like "Fucking mom, <laughs> like, answer the fucking phone." <laughs> and then uh, she walked out of her bathroom, totally and naked. Bombs out. Totally naked. What's and she I was look like, like? Fuck. <laughs> but I remember. How old is she again? Uh, at this time, probably like 60, 58. She's cute though, right? I mean, she's, like, she's, she's not in an good ugly shape. Woman. Yeah, she's she's a, she's, she's not like she doesn't look like me. She doesn't look like a fat pale. Your dad lady. outkicked this coverage. She, she uh, is no, my dad was hot. My dad was very hot. Did I show you my dad when he was younger? <laughs> no, not my dad's yet. hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah, he was a beast. Uh, <laughs> big dick too. I saw his dick a bunch when I was a kid, and I was like, I saw the load at the. You saw how much he cummed his pants too. Show them the picture of that. Nah, we're just gonna leave in the dark on all this dad laser tag, and he's got. Just a fucking a jellyfish mess. Why? A, My dad was coming in his pants. fucking pants. <laughs> he didn't really come in his pants. Show him. I'll show you the picture in a second. But what? The, last, uh, the thing that stuck with me. But My, mom, is, My mom was more upset about it than I was. She in walked the out. Not the, There was no cum at this point. Sure. She walks out of the bathroom. I'm standing there. I was like, ew. Like, I, that's how I reacted. I wasn't like, ew. I was just like, oh, fuck, mom. Like, ew, ew. <laughs> and she was like, get the fuck. Like she got real upset, but I remember the one thing that stuck with me is peripheral. Her jaw was wired shut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still trying to suck I it in oil. It. She she <laughs> trimmed her pubes. Oh, that means she they're active. And this is what I was saying. She's no. maintaining. I remember being like, I thought it was going to be a fucking chaotic, Bufant. just a bush. Yeah. It was nice, but it wasn't. It's the shape of a heart. Yeah, that's because your dad requests it. I know, but yeah, I remember being like, like that was troubling. Keep that at like that a, was the worst part. Yeah, they're active. How Parents how much did she trim it? Did she just like because uh, what I do is I just use head clippers. Yeah, that's what I do. And I shave it down to make it like a nice short, but all yeah. across the board. There's no one, two there's clip no shaping. I do one. Yeah. So Same. it's there's no shaping at all. It is just across the board. Mm -hmm. Just it's a fucking you know mm -hmm. not a fucking mess, right? Your undercarriage. You have to so go under. So did she do basically what a fucking dude should be doing at the very least? Yeah, under the balls, in between. Everything. I gotta be yeah. honest. It was. Or I'm saying, did she trim it to the point where she's shaving and you can actually see lip? I didn't look. I want to know if you can boy, see lip oh because I was locked onto her tits. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I think I actually was. <laughs> I think I was like, "Oh fuck, fuck!" But uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable. But it was. Did you see lip? I didn't see any lip. No, I didn't see any lip. <laughs> My but, mom yeah. was comfortable being naked around us. Fuck yeah, chill. It's all good. I'm I'm trying to find this picture. So we, me and my family went uh, to laser tag. We took my niece to play laser tag, and my dad's under the black light. 
we got inside, and my dad's fucking it's jeans. Unbe- it's unbelievable. Riddled. I, I think about okay, it. Okay, so I get it now. So yeah. it wasn't wet with cum right no, then. it was under a black light. Dude. So we're standing in a... Uh-huh. Whatever you it, think it is now, you're going to be fucking baffled. We're in a semicircle no. asking that this kid is giving no. us the directions to how to play laser tag. No. And my, I hear my sister, she's like, Jesus Christ, Dad. And we both, me, my sister, and my dad all look at the same time. My dad goes, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I... Have never laughed that hard about it. Like, full fucking cum. Show him. It, I will, I will. But listen. But then he didn't give a fuck. He kept asking questions. Like, he was drawing attention to himself. He was asking directions about He was like, what if I, uh, wait, how do I shoot the satellite? What happens if I shoot the satellite? Is that 10,000? I'm like, Dad, shut the fuck up, dude. Can God. I change teams? <laughs> the other one. Uh, Shane, you grew up in Philly or outside of Philly? I grew up in Her- Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Outside of Philly. It looks like a fucking x ray, doesn't it? Full comment. That's all come. Oh. All all come. Can we show that to the camera? <laughs> yeah, you can show it to the camera. That was in the laser tip. So, so also, also, I had enough time to take my phone out and take a picture of my dad's cum jeans. Look at his hand in his pocket. Tucked in. Fucking. Oh, the cum in the Dude, that is a fucking so crime did he, scene. Of did a he go to strip clubs and come in his pants and that's what it is? I have no idea, man. That's just, a, that's an old did dad thing. Did you ever ask him? I was, I mean, I am still curious about it, but. He doesn't wash them. That's just old. Wrangler come for like 20 years. I mean, that's what I had to, uh, that's what I surmised. As I think well. he's beaten off just putting the zipper down in like the basement and then he just oh, comes yeah. on the pants he and then wipes onto it the pants. Well, maybe he just like a little excess. Oh, for wow. Years. Yeah, wow. that's. I've been doing a lot of thought about this since I've seen it. It's I mean, crazy. Well, how do you do that? Because I don't. Oh, that was a bullshit. They don't do dude. anything for you. That me fired up. They don't I, do anything. I always operate under the assumption, Brittany, we have like check engine light cars and all this shit, and I'm like, Fuck them. If it breaks down, they'll, they'll come get us another car, and that's their problem. They I don't know they're going to fix it. They literally, the lady was like, well, is there, you, you can fix the tire and bring it back, and we'll get you a new car. It's like, I got to go to fucking Pep Boys and buy a tire and sit in a fucking, it's like. Or she was saying, just take it to the side of the road, jack it up, and toss the donut on. Yeah, they it's were. Like, I can. There I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, they were saying, you can put the donut on and then drive. I was like, well, I'm an hour away. I'm not yeah, driving. Fuck that. What are you guys doing? Come get this yeah. goddamn car. You have, especially you said you left it. And it was nail. It was nailing the tire. Nailing the if tire. If you blew the tire out, even if you blow the tire out, I was like, come. I got the it. coverage, dude. Fix it. Yeah. Also, luxury car. I got the fucking premium luxury vehicle. And they told it was you- a goddamn Chrysler 300. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Chrysler 300 is a fucking sack of shit car, dude. The interior of that car is a regular shitty car. Yes, I was driving a Chrysler 300, but then, dude, I was upgraded to fucking Jeep thing. What did they, what did they send you? Like, uh, sir, do you want to uh, have the look like you have are selling five pounds of weed class? <laughs> yeah, of, yeah. yeah, it was. Everyone uh, who's, I watch people, I watch a decent a handful of people make a good amount of money the first time in their life selling drugs. Many of them went for the Chrysler or the Chrysler 200. A lot of yeah. times the baby band. That like, was almost, that was pre. Uh, yeah, it was the go-to, dude. Then Anyone that Dodge knew. Charger came out. Then the Challenger, <laughs> the Charger. <laughs> I know one specific guy. Whoever the fucking who marketing it. guy is, somebody in there knows black dudes. <laughs> somebody in there is like, guys, they're going to fucking love this shit. It doesn't even have to be nice. Let's just make it look like this. They're gonna fucking buy it, dude. You're talking Chargers. You're talking Chargers challenge. Although that, I will give them credit. That's also a white trash vehicle. Yeah, and that's that's white trash. The, yes, because yeah, the one dude I saw in the glow up was that's severely white trash. Yeah, that is a fucking <laughs> white trash. Yeah, then he did white fucking trash black dude Dodge Charger. <sighs> Scrape the side. So of it, sick. Scrape the side. It was like a Greek myth, dude. He was flying too close to the sun in his Chrysler 300. (laughs) Maybe did some opiates and fucking fucked it up, dude. I wonder what the rate of how many Chrysler 300s are scraped and damaged, dude. It's got to be like 85%. It's got to be a 99%. All of them are fucked. All of them are in the junkyard, which is a twisted up driver's side, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Just some guy like see what happened was fucking turnpike bullshit. Bullshit Set happened. Up bullshit. Something happened to me. They didn't I have didn't the rumble. The rumble strips supposed to be four inches deep. This thing was probably <laughs> one and a half. They fucked me. <laughs> All right. All right. We did. Let's switch over to the Patreon. Oh yeah, I have also me and Lamar are floating over a sick idea for the Patreon. I'd like to hear it. Patreon exclusive live stream. The whole drive up. Ooh, that'd be very good. How much we'll try it. We'll I I would we'll love try. nothing more than to see you two operating with no <laughs> fucking with no me to be like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to hear Matt be fully untethered and just like 
dude. Just it's just it's you a chill. You cannot see Oppenheimer, dude. I have. To I see forbid it. you from I seeing Oppenheimer. I will see it, dude. I will seek the <laughs> forbidden knowledge, dude. It. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> you're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna love it, dude. I it's, can't wait. It actually Oppenheimer's sick, dude. I can't when when you were. I got him convinced. Or I got him confused. I thought you were calling me Turing. I was going. Um. Yeah. No. You're not. I was like Oppenheimer. Kid. What's that? And I was like, Oh, that was Turing. I was like, Sick. Oppenheimer. Straight, Oppenheimer so. rules, dude. I can't fucking wait. You're gonna love it. Although he's a fucking womanizer, dude. Oppenheimer was banging everybody. Was he really? Yeah. You dropped the bomb on me. He dropped it. Yeah. He was was he drop? There. He was fucking dropping. The, I mean, he was yeah. fucking everybody's wives, every scientist what around. He was kind of a fucking dog. That's a fox in the hen house, though. It is. Chad scientist making weapons, being like, I'm gonna fuck these. Chad scientist, lives. then just he butt fucks. Yeah. Yo. How did he get him? Was he like, yeah, actually, you know what? Like, E doesn't exactly equal MC squared in the big. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's that. That's what I was like. Matt's gonna love this shit. Oh, so it's I just like dudes wait. being intellectuals. And like, yeah. Uh, oh, it's awesome. There's a yeah. There's Truman. Truman at the end is the best part. Being like, give me your bombs, Truman. I uh, whatever. It's not yeah. that much of a spoiler. Oppenheimer goes in to talk to the president, and he's like, "The blood. I have the blood on my hands." Mm. And Truman's just like, he takes a hanky out, and he's like. Nobody gives a fuck about you, dude. I dropped the bombs. Get this fucking crybaby out of here. Oh, <laughs> Truman rules, dude. It made me fuck. love Truman. I think you're supposed to not like Truman in that moment. Truman fucking rules, dude. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. He's literally like, shut the fuck shut up, Shut the pussy. fuck up, dude. We did what we had to do. Yeah, I pressed the button, dude. Yeah. Get out of here. That's kind of sick, actually. It's also just... I mean, of course, it was actually an obvious dilemma that these scientists had. Yeah. That they were like, we're creating a... The, the thing that can end the world but they're such little babies they're all fucking communists the whole time are they really a lot of them they're all like germany's out of the war we don't need to use the bomb anymore they're having like meetings they built it though yeah they built it there's little nerds and yeah there's fucking nerds built it dude. yeah what the fuck don't do it you guys are smart enough to build an atomic bomb hey here's a news flash but yeah this is an atomic energy is not working for this bomb yeah don't do it. Use your brains to be like, yeah, we'll trick all these dumb guys into thinking there's no atomic weapons. They wanted that shit to fucking explode, dude. Get out of here. They celebrated when it went off, dude. Of course they did. I mean, that's... No, no one was thinking about those poor Japanese. In terms of pure physics, dude. It's yeah, like, it was, whoa. It's cool shit. Pretty cool. But, you know, apparently there's more to life than just physical laws, but... You know, I don't want to get in trouble with the scientific establishment, dude. I'm already mired enough, dude. They're going to get you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> be like, we have a real threat, dude. <laughs> it's coming. You're going to be one of the top. I can see the day you're in front of that committee. They can't, they get me? Trying to get you, and you'd be just like, dude, I believe in the Constitution. I believe in the Constitution. And the only I thing I'd it. ask is that if they see my sons chasing fucking objects and power more than living a good life, just to set them straight when I die. That's what he said. For his sons, he goes, do you have any final wishes? He's like, yeah, if you see my sons putting position and authority or whatever before being true and good, tell him not to do that. And then he just drank the hemlock. Oh, I thought you were talking about Kennedy. I was like, no, no, no. I'm talking fuck? about Socrates. He said that? At the no, end? I'm talking about Socrates. They were, they were going to kill him. He was, yeah. they were like, you, he's like, you clearly, you don't care about the youth. He's like, what is it about? Then he's like, uh, he's like, clearly don't give a, f they're just sick as fucking speech. So fucking good. Baby, we did it. We did it. We're at an hour. Um, all right, let yeah. us go into the Patreon. Yeah, so it's worth it. Let's go into the fucking exclusive only. Sorry, losers. Sorry, you can't see the rest losers. of this. Losers, you're never going to be able to see this. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. Also, also, sorry about last week. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a real? little bit. That was half of Measy, full full culpability over on this end. Yeah, we was had our bad. we we thought we thought we could do a nightcast. We tried our best. We did try our best though, and we stayed up, dude. I. I ended up operating on two hours of sleep the next day. We tried to do it our best. That sucked dick. It was just, yeah, it wasn't the one, man. It wasn't the one. No, it was not. We stayed up all day and night toiling to produce yeah. something, and it just, we didn't get it. We didn't get it, dude, and we missed a week. It there were glimpses. There were glimpses of there comedy. Were glimmers, bro. There were, there were things. We did reach up and touch the heavens a couple times, but we, were, we spent most yeah. of our time in hell that whole time. A lot of hell. And we got punished for it. I broke my nose. You got slapped in the nuts by a wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got wrecked. Dude. Lamar, something bad happened to Lamar. What happened to you? Didn't you something bad? Oh, yeah. yeah, I had a butt cyst. <laughs> Lamar got a butt cyst. Oh god! And it popped. He was, he was describing it to me. I'm like, stop, man. He's like, it was the worst smell ever when it popped. I was like, yeah, enough. Oh enough, my god! Enough. Enough. You've got it, and you got a tit cyst too, don't you? You have a tit cyst. A, oh, no, this DNA is gone. cyst. It's gone. They got rid of it. They got rid of it. <laughs> 
You've come down with severe And that's TNA. what he's for littering. He tried to litter the other day. Uh, so he, he does littered, litter. He got punished. We I summoned was, demons. You were, yeah. Three you, would have, you would have loved seeing me get fucking racked in the nuts by this wave. <laughs> I was just sitting there looking at a beautiful sunset drinking. I was like, <laughs> I got to take a piss. <laughs> he went out, went out like way steep. And I was like, I got to bend over for this wave. So it gets me. <laughs> it just oh. slapped me. I was leaning forward like this. And a wave just. Oh, racked me in the nuts. Dude. What happened to that boy, dude? You got clapped. Dude. <laughs> dude, it fucking crushed me. Yeah. Yes. All right. Patreon All right, time. Let's let's Let there. us go. Love you guys. Does anyone know? Fuck, I do know. What? What? The play? What was the play? play was it was at the yeah. Ford's Theater. I don't remember the. Um, see what he was watching. Yeah, it was something good. Yeah, he was fixated. <laughs> he was into it. Was he didn't Hamilton. notice the assassin. That was a weird thing. It was Hamilton. Yeah, it was a Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. He was sitting there like, what was it? Nice. He was sitting there watching it like, I got to pretend to like this. Yeah, it was fucking Hamilton. And then they shot him. And he was like, Thank God. <laughs> this place sucks. Christ, this shit <laughs> sucks so bad. <laughs> um, so that brings us to Johnson. So who, Johnson was great. A- First, first uh, guy to be impeached. Was what? he impeached? Oh yeah, first guy to be impeached. Yeah, Johnson shows up. This is great. He was, he was like a tough guy. He was supposed to be the counteraction to yeah. Lincoln. Well, he's one of the reasons the war was prolonged because everybody knew if we could just get rid of Lincoln, Johnson was behind him. With there was a deal to be made. It was like don't it was like yeah. don't talk outside the family. He was like son, you know. Yeah. Sonny liked my deal, didn't he? Sonny was hot for <laughs> yeah, my deal. Yeah. Johnson would have fucking settled in yeah. a minute. Johnson started his life as an indentured servant. No shit. And worked his way up. How sick is that? That's impressive. And then before his inauguration, he got fucked up on whiskey and just couldn't talk. <laughs> his inauguration. It was in the rain and the mud right after Lincoln got shot. Well, and everyone was, was the like, first one. He's, he's the one who <laughs> proved you can, you can impeach a president. Mm-hmm. But you cannot get the fucking votes. It's a yeah. waste of time, and he ends up stronger. Yeah. It's the dumbest move in the world. It's va- it's vanity. Yeah. It's just uh, Congress hates the president. It's just bullshit. Yeah. But it doesn't accomplish anything. They they I don't remember why they went after him. Whatever he was Me very neither. corrupt. He's a fucked up guy. I don't. Who knows? It's all mm-hmm. shit that I heard because of them. But they they <laughs> impeached him and then failed to get rid of him. Really? I know nothing else about him. But, but I don't know either. But then fucking Grant, Grant, amazing guy, great guy, amazing guy. I feel like his presidency was a bit of a fucking letdown for how cool he was. I mean, he did so Christing much. This guy, oh, Grant. true to to help the South, he was pretty good. What did he do? Well, hey, and is, the, he was he was. Uh, okay. First of all, some people get on him because he owned a he owned us one slave oh, man. because his father, his father in law, his wife's. Father yes. hated him because he was an abolitionist. I mean, he wasn't like an active abolitionist. Sure. But he was against slave. It's just for not having a slave. Yeah. Back then, if you didn't have a slave, you were a dick to certain yeah. people. So you were like, put on a mask. Yeah. yeah. You were yeah. that guy. You were like, why yeah, do you exactly. have slaves? Yeah. And they're like, why is this guy making me feel uncomfortable? Yeah. <laughs> so he hated him because he had slaves and he didn't want one. So mm-hmm. he gave him one for as a wedding present, like to spite him. What a dick. Yeah. So Jesus. Uh, so Grant made the guy his partner, and yeah. they started a little business together, which he then freed the guy and gave him the business. Yeah, he so he, he made would that go. Guy's he would go life. work with the slaves. But He'd they, be out there with them working. Yeah, he, and then he, while he was like financially ruined, yeah, he freed his slaves instead of selling them. But he had one though. Uh, I'm not sure. He might have had one at that That's point. That's the, the story I just told you. Yeah. Is, I think his slave story. I don't think yeah. he had a bunch of them. He so, had he had one slave, and he freed him instead of selling them. But his and father-in-law, he, and, he, and he gave him a business that yeah. he had started with him. Yeah, his father-in-law history fucked him. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Here's yeah, yeah. that's right." Here's and then he was in he the did, army. Absolutely. <laughs> he was in the army, and he went. Uh, one of his first uh, jobs was uh, outpost near San Francisco. It was in the middle of nowhere. There was no. I mean, it was in the desert of California. Mm-hmm. He was the only one there, and he was a, fa- a family man. He loved his family. He missed his bed. Missed his mm-hmm. family so much, and he started just getting drunk. And they somebody came to drop the mail and found him passed out drunk, and that was his only experience with alcohol. He was not; he was a very rigidly living guy, and he was thought known as a drunk for the rest of his life. Really? There's every arguments. time he had a political problem, they'd go, "He's drinking." There's arguments. <laughs> There's rumors he was fucked up at Shiloh. 
because he sat why. because he sat under a tree in the rain. They found him sitting under a tree in the rain outside of a military hospital. It also is funny because Shiloh he woke up on day two of it. Yeah, at like the start of day two, or maybe it was the start of day one when it started. He was yeah. late to get there, so everybody was like he was hammered. But what? if he was hammered, that's very funny to be like, oh shit, there's a war. Oh. <laughs> like, so oh. after up, he was like, after here. he was he had won the civil war. Uh, started really reconstruction, like started like re- he was in earnest wanting to get opportunities and in, in equity for black people, e- equal opportunity for black people. And then he retired and was in New York. He became a New Yorker. He became a big, big, big part of this city. Yeah. And he had a son named Kermit, who I think his name was Kermit. <laughs> who, that was the 1800s. Yeah. Sure. So Kermit invested <laughs> what a fucking in, great name. That's invested hilarious. his money and all of his father's money with some asshole guy who took it and just left town and just oh. took all of their money, every penny that they had. And uh, so Grant went to visit Vanderbilt, who's outside of the um, Grand Central Station. Is a great uh, statue of him. I think it was Vanderbilt. Yeah. Went to the richest man in New York City. Um, who was a hard ass, a guy who didn't care for charity or anything, but he brought his, he brought, Sher, uh, what's his name? Uh, the sword that was, uh, who, yeah, who's, yeah. Uh, Lee. Well, Robert e. He had Robert E. Lee's sword that he um, surrendered to yeah. him. What? He had his Congressional Medal of Honor and the Bible that he was, that he took the oath of office in. And he gave them, he said, I want to sell these to you because I have no money. And Vanderbilt said, Jesus Christ, <laughs> yeah, the president. Dude. Holy shit. We're not doing that. He said, I, I'm i going to d- uh, donate these to the National Museums, and I'll give you a, you know, like he bought them for the nation. Did he, but did he buy oh. his biography? Isn't that what he No, so he here's what happened with the biography. It's the yeah. best part of his story, and it's actually his greatest legacy. But his, biograph- his autobiography is like the greatest ever written. Yeah. So... Um, he met two guys on a train. He was didn't do he'd do anything for money at this point. His because his <laughs> wife was very young. <laughs> he was broke. Two guys After on everything he'd been through. <laughs> he was broke, and his wife was young, and he was going to leave her uh, um, destitute. So he met two guys on a train. They're like, "Why don't you write your autobiography? We'll pay you a thousand dollars." And he was like, "Done." What? Oh, so then, <laughs> about a week later, he meets up with. Um, uh, uh, Mark Twain was like his best friend mm. and Mark Twain said uh, why don't you write your autobiography uh, your memoirs and he said I'm doing that for these guys and he goes what are they paying you and he goes thousand dollars and he's like dude <laughs> what is wrong with you <laughs> and he says give me the book I'll publish because he, he Mark Twain had started his own publishing company because uh, yeah. he hated publishers he said I'll publish it and I'll help you write it and he said, I promised those two guys. He's like, did you sign something? He goes, no, but I did. I like I gave my word. Fuck. So uh, so um, Twain uh, or his real name, what's his uh, Clemens Clemens yeah. goes travels to I think he went to see Sherman. He went to see he's like, I need to see somebody who trusts who, you know, mm-hmm. he'll listen to. So he went to visit Sherman and said, please like, please get him to do this. So Sherman wrote a telegram to Grant saying, for for the love of God, give the book to Clemens. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the thing. That's awesome. So he wrote his biography, autobiography, and the, the remarkable thing about it that I read was that there's, like, no adjectives in it. It's, like, all verbs and nouns. The entire book what? is verbs and nouns because he just says what happened. It's a very well-written book. And uh, so Clemens turned it into this special edition that you had to order one. You could get any color you wanted. And it was the first blockbuster book in American yeah. history. It made like half a million dollars in what? the first month. Meanwhile, he had a goiter that was growing and Three growing. stogies. You always uh, see him with the stogies. Yeah. Died of uh, throat cancer like right as he finished the book. Whoa. And then his wife was made for life. Her yeah. first check from Twain was like $400,000. Whoa. Yeah, I think he wasn't he buried here. And yes. this monument. And he's buried in, in Grant's tomb on the yes. in Harlem. And when he died, the nor- there was this huge funeral, and it was northern and southern soldiers. Southern soldiers were allowed to put back on their southern uniforms because it was a big thing that his casket was carried yeah. by north and south. 
It's too bad um, you can never get away with wearing a Confederate uniform in Harlem these days. No, because no, no. that would get be a away treat. with. <laughs> yeah, but he was he was fucking awesome at the when when Lee surrendered. He was very like I mean it was it was unconditional surrender. Mm. So he was like, "You guys are gonna fucking give up," but he was like, "Keep your guns, go home, start rebuilding." Mm-hmm. Like he could have fucking destroyed the South. Yeah, yeah. And he was very chill. I think Custer stole the fucking sword. He hated Did Custer. He? I think Custer stole Lee's sword. Is Maybe he got right? it back. But I think the story was Grant wouldn't accept it or something he along those him lines. To keep it. And yeah, Custer, Custer was, was bloodthirsty. Guy. And then on on the parade back into Washington, yeah. Grant was obviously out front. Custer fucking rode ahead. And Grant was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Custer was With the his man. Blonde hair. You look at, if you look into Custer, he was pretty fucking yeah, cool. I don't know much about him. He fucked up Jeb's store at Gettysburg, which was mm-hmm. pretty cool because Jeb was the man. And he wrote in, he was with the Michigan Cavalry, and he was like, come on, you Wolverines, and fucking led them into a charge. That's why they're the Michigan Wolverines, all that shit. So then you got Hayes, (laughs) who undid all of this cool stuff for black people. It's Uh, all And politically, just he didn't want to get deal with it, so he just uh, just did away with it. And then you got fucking, who else? Then it goes... Garfield. Then I get bleary. Yeah, this is all, this is like the Gilded Age, is what it's called. It's all shit. yeah. But this is where shit like it goes from we ended slavery to now just right back into it just just. Born. Yeah, but I did a black room in in Brooklyn like two weeks ago, and I was like, I'm not gonna do the white guy thing. I got jokes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm bombing, and like three minutes in, I'm like, Hey, hey, what's up with rap? <laughs> <laughs> you have to go in there and just be like severely autistic. Mm. I've gone in there before and just talked Pokemon, and it was just like <laughs> murdering, dude. <laughs> True. Yeah, well, you hit a nerve. True. You, right. you didn't know back I, then I, exactly, that I didn't, black people love Japanese cartoons. True, I didn't know. You had no idea. I didn't know. It was just, I was like, damn, these guys like me, A couple of them probably went into Super Saiyan as soon as you started talking. <laughs> 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 they love that shit. They oh, do. It's, it's awesome, dude. You see the dating profiles, and like, I love anime, and you're like, it's the fifth one this week. Yeah, dude, like they a black it? girl? Yeah. What? That's, what? You, you don't know of this? No, I'm not on the, the apps. You don't know, I'm not on Black a... People Meet. I've never dated a uh, black I've, person. I've banged a few, <laughs> but I never dated. Really? Yeah. Personal choice or is that like circumstance? Is that like hard line? I just, I just <laughs> never, I don't want to date anybody. I've banged a few and that was great and terrifying, but uh, never, uh, never dated. What would yeah. you talk about? Cosby? He's I married to a black lady. What? Yeah, married to a black this lady. is his What's that second like? black wedding. Second black? Yeah. Marriage. What? <laughs> <laughs> trying to add the extra word every time Norman says black. Yeah, lady. <laughs> Tell me everything. It's chill, dude. Again, love of anime. And, yeah, uh, autistic white dudes and black ladies yeah, should we, we unite. Sync up. Sorry, do you ever get the uh, like the guy? Because you, you look like you could hear an n-word every now and then like a white guy could trust you <laughs> to say it and then you're like oh you know my wife's yeah. black me and matt are friends oh, we've been, I've been, yeah i've been in that situation before yeah that's yeah. tough i go home until i text her immediately be like that's three today <laughs> that's three true she's like, like i'm so wet that's... like i asked my black friends like what's up with this with black people yeah and they're like well it's actually this this like what's with the no swimming they're like well we just didn't grow up swimming i'm like huh it must be how they're like why can't they dance True. Like, what's wrong? Why yeah. are you so stiff out there? I'm like, I just don't know how. Yeah, I, didn't grow I can't up. do it. Well, I got the secret. My my black wife unlocked the secret with me the other day. As the drums hit, you just hit the drums, but with your feet, and you're just dancing, and it looks perfect, and you're on, and you're in rhythm. I don't know. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling. Oh, just <laughs> don't do that. Well, you also got. Oh, there's the other key too. So you can't have a tight spine. You got to hunch a little. Oh, bit. hunch a little. Hunch a little. That's good. Hunch a little and loosen, and then just. Yeah, we don't want to look feminine either yeah. when we're dancing. Or gay. So you, yeah, or gay. Yeah, yeah exactly. So a girl can do either. <laughs> sure, they can be Yeah, but if gay you're too good at dancing, it's gay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mm. straddle the line. If you're like a re- you go to a wedding and somebody's a good dancer, you gotta straddle the it's line. It's disgusting. I like dude. I, like whenever I see women, I like I shudder. Like sometimes I just look at them like, what the fuck? I'm like, how powerful? I'm sorry, man. You guys just kick so much. But didn't you have that dude. experience when they when she gave birth? Whoa. Isn't that the one yeah, thing? That's, that's the one thing nuts. that guys usually switch over and they're like, they are strong. You saw it? <laughs> well, I was it, I was on the other end because it was like the yeah the baby had the umbilical cord around her neck, so they had to do the old fucking oh, open it up. yeah open it up. yeah they had it three times. I had it. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, I, sorry. I had three. I had it too. Comedy podcast. I had it too. I had I had it wrapped. It's genetic. So did I. So did I. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. What? Maybe it's a comedy thing. I think so. I think that deprivation of oxygen early on just. You look like you're like Turkish. 
<laughs> the Iranian, going. possibly yeah. Iranian. True. What? You ever do a twenty three of me? I've uh, I've gotten Cuban. I I had never have. I'm too scared. But I'm. Why are you scared? I don't want to get some black in me. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> joking. Uh, don't Write call the down. misses. But uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they don't like the facts. No, <laughs> they don't like facts. I'm like, I'm just going off what I'm seeing, and they're like, "Fuck you! I'll kill you." Like, Why are you mad at me? I'm just saying. Wait, what who I'm... are you talking about? Women. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most groups. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm which just... group are we on right now? Yeah, I'm just saying what I saw the other day, and they're like, "Ah, maybe you're so mad because we got something here." <laughs> you were onto the case. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. This, will, this will age well, like for the you know. Oh, this three will years, go really like, good for us. Forty years from now, they're oh, like, yeah. "Damn, dude, you're a fucking These guys are ahead of their time, dude." 